Clinical Key for Nursing has a smart search feature with a medical ontology engine behind it. You can search by keyword or complex phrase, and the search understands acronyms, synonyms, related surgical procedures, and drugs. Let's start with a simple search, heart attack. As you can see, Clinical Key for Nursing auto-suggests as you type. The results page is divided into three areas. On the left are your filters, in the middle are your results, and on the right is a flexible area, it depends on the search term you enter, in this case it's a dictionary definition. And there are almost 14,000 results for such a broad search term, so let's try and reduce this number by adding some filters. First of all, I'm going to add a filter uh, by speciality, in this case critical care. I'm now also going to limit results to content published in the last six months. As you can see, the number of results is now much more manageable at 28. It is also worth pointing out that just underneath the first set of search results, a related searches box is present, in case these are more relevant to what you are looking for. Clinical Key can also accept complex searches or questions in natural language. For example, you might be interested in articles relating to patient deterioration in the ICU. The first thing to note is that ICU is an ambiguous term, so we are asked to clarify exactly what we mean. Once confirmed, you will see that there are still quite a number of results. So rather than using filters this time, you might want to refine your search and be more specific. Therefore, I'm going to search for strategies dealing with patient deterioration in the intensive care unit. Now, looking through the results, you might decide that this result from a book chapter is relevant, so I will click on it. The book chapter opens and jumps to the relevant section in the text. Clinical Key for Nursing displays text and images optimized for on-screen viewing. The text will automatically adjust depending on your screen size and device you are viewing. If, after browsing the book, you decide that this is not quite what you're looking for, it is easy to go back to the search result and select another result, and in this case, a journal article. You have no might have noticed that both in the book and journal, there is a PDF icon at the top, and this will allow you to open the content exactly as it appears in the book and journal. Clicking on the icon opens the PDF, and you are free to print this off or save it to your computer as a personal copy for later viewing. As well as search, you are also able to browse content. This is useful if you know the book or journal you require up front. For example, from the Clinical Key for Nursing homepage, if you click on Browse Books, you will get an alphabetical list of all the books in Clinical Key for Nursing. You can search or filter by typing in a few letters of the book title here, and in this case, Potter and Perry's Fundamentals of Nursing. The table of contents opens, and you are able to select the chapter of interest to open as a full text. As before, you can click on the PDF version if you require.